with us inside a smart Araneta Coliseum para sa pagbukas ng fourth and final quarter of action. Fourth quarter na hatin sa atin ng Moto Live for extra specific service. Call 370-6686. One point ball game now less than 12 minutes to go. It's a very good quarter for Enebra, that third quarter, because they were able to rest Orlando Johnson for a good three minutes of action. They were able to get some offensive suck from two guys, Rondial who had four points and Dave Marcelo who had two points. So those are the important points that they were able to generate to cut the lead down of Talking Text. Talking Text up by five points at the end of two quarters. And now because of that free throw, umakyat ng dalawa, very, very manageable na kalamangan na pwede pang habulin ng Gene King. The stat line on this guy, 13 points now, 5 rebounds and 4 shot blocks as we send it back over to Ms. Erica. Nakahabol na nga itong Ginebra who was just within 1 as the 4th quarter started. Kaya paalala lang ni Coach Jong sa tropa, 3 simple things. 1, depend better on transition. 2, keep the ball moving. And 3, watch out for those turnovers. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Ms. Padilla. Mercado over to Johnson. Pena with a huge pick. Johnson drills the long one. Hatid Sati, the PLD, the only pollution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Again, another three pointer for Orlando Johnson, making his total output to 39. And the double team was not there. And I saw Coach John with Chico looking at assistant coach John, uh, John, Josh Reyes who got the ball in the Manila Ulit. As Washington gets those three right back, Hatid Parin Sati, the PLD, the only pollution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. 77-74, D&D up by three. Labing isang minuto na titira sa ating Super Bowl Sunday inside the big dome. Johnson on the attack. Flying by Washington and Douglas. Well, this guy is just for real. He can shoot from the outside, he can beat his man off the dribble, and then he can finish off in style. Washington misses. Pagkakataon ng Barangay Nebra, pawiin ang kalamangan. First taste of the lead nila no third quarter na nangyari. Ano? That was at 55-54. And again, that tough call of Coach uh, Frank Villain to give Orlando Johnson a good three-minute rest. And now he's got so much energy here in the first two possessions of Nebra. It's maganda yung pacing niya ngayon you know, as Johnson overcooks that one. Miller gets it across. The thriller over to Jay Wash. Inahanap si Kelly, pupunta muna kay Douglas. Dogatex moving that leather around. Kelly Williams sealing against Kagiwa. Pass is a bit too strong. Makaling sa Inebra ang bola. Douglas scoring has stopped here after scoring 8.7 in the first quarter. Turn over there, but aamuyan pa ng bahagya ito pa nilang magdalaro. The Soul Train now manning the point. Tenorio is back on. Pinalitan si Urbistondo. Sama nila si Johnson, Kagiwa, and Peña. Being defended by Rosser, Williams, Washington, Miller, and Douglas. Kagiwa from Mercado. He puts up the one-hander. Mark Kagiwa delivers. You see that kind of a play, it was Kagiwa, a recipient of a very nice assist pass once again from Sol. His third year in this ball game. And the first wave of that Hinebra chant going off, echoing inside the smart Araneta Coliseum. And usually, that's part of the game plan of opposing coaches. Every time you go up against an area, three things. Do not let them score on three points. Do not let them score on style points. Because that will pave the way for the fans to be the sixth man. Once they shout, he never, he never, everything might be out of focus. Pagkaba nagsimula na yung chat niyan, kailangan maka-quick basket kayo para matigil gagat. That is correct. Dahil kung hindi, magtutuloy-tuloy yan eh. But if you are a Hinebra fan, there are a lot of reasons for you to cheer for your team. Masyadong nawala na yung ganitong mga pagkakataon. Pero why not? They have a gem in the person of Orlando Johnson. Mercado may tangan. Kinatake si Washington. Jay Wash ends up giving up the foul. Grabe yung explosion ni Mercado with that first step. He never lost that. The only time you can ground this guy if he's hurting. Usually an ankle sprain and uh... Maski may sakit nga ito, naglalaro pa rin 
ng uh, Pope na so ito eh. Pero ito, 11 puntos na siya. No? May mga players talaga na ang kup sa isang kupunan. And that is a good hat-trick job by Coach Frankie Lim to get this guy, trade him for uh, Joseph Yo, and he's facing handsome dividends for his team. Marcelo with an offensive board. Baliktad nga lang ang back to sa kanyang follow-up. Barangay Nebra settles for a one-point lead. Falcon Tech's on the attack. Exactly nine minutes remaining in this game. Pettigrew is double team. They go around. Daglas to Miller for the long one. Willie drills it. I mean, something up PLD, the old evolution. Serves your ordinary TV into an internet TV. That is just awesome basketball intelligence here for Sam Daglas. He did not score a lot of points. All he can do once in a while is to set up his teammates. That time around, the recipient was uh, Willie Miller. LA could not get those three back. Third personal whistle on Dave Marcelo. Dalawang abate ng tropa, eight and a half remaining. Sa loob ng big go. Pettigrew attacking the defense of Marcelo. He sails to the left side and finishes strong. That is just one strength that Talking Tex has right now. Even if Ginebra is playing the zone, there is a mismatch if Pettigrew gets the ball against Marcelo in the post. Yun ang uh, talagang ginagawa ng paraan at palabigasan ni Coach John. Johnson on the attack. His pass is fouled. Willie Miller admitting it. But if you're Ginebra, when you see that kind of a defense, usually there'll be three guys in the paint. So kung pumostin ang ganun si Pettigrew, dapat there should be an automatic help. In that uh, situation, walang nakatulong, kaya napakadaling tira ron para kay Pettigrew. Johnson on the move, takes it strong to the cup. Johnson finishes, big as Samabang Pao. He's just so athletic and so good in this game. Paalala po ulit ha, para sa lahat ng Barangay Hinebra fans sa Manila. Ngayong darating na Wednesday, may huli, tayong pagka, may huli kayong pagkakataon na masilip itong si Orlando Johnson and the rest of your Barangay Hinebra. Puneta Astrodome, Kia ang kalaban. Because after that, Barangay Hinebra hits the road. Sabado sa Dipolog contra Blackwater. And then dediretso silang Dubai. May 22, Rainer Shine ang kalaban. So sa Wednesday, if you want to see Orlando Johnson with your very own eyes, make sure dumiretso sa Coneta. 44 points. Merong kabuang ito si Orlando Johnson. At di natin napapansin, nakakatulong din siya sa kanilang depensa. Tama yung uh, description eh, na itong si Orlando Johnson. Para kang may nakikitang Derek Rose Philippine uh -huh. version. Can do a lot of things offensively and can also shackle the offensive team based on his defense. Just like that. Na problema si Willie sa kanya. Washington misses on the bailout. Three of them. Pero sa rebound play, meron foul. Looks like it is gonna go against Marcelo. Pangapa niya para kay Dave. Ang talking text naman will be back in action May 15 contra sa Barako Bull. May 18 contra sa Alaska. And then May 26 after the Dubai games. Dubai break natin. May 26 and legs ang katapat ng tropa. At hindi natin inaasahang babalik sila Jason Castro at si uh, Ranidel de Ocampo siguro sa kanilang mga 5th or 6th game pa yan. Maka after na nung Dubai break. Ano? Dahil yes. May 19th, which is a Tuesday, hanggang Sabado next week, eh magbe-breakan yung PBA habang naglalaro. Yung Global Court Trainer Shine at Trainer Shine Ginebra sa Dubai. Johnson na naman! 46 points para kay Orlando! And Willie Miller has to be very careful. It was instructed by Coach Young Wichiga to take better care of the ball because they've been throwing the ball a lot. And as a result, Toki Tex, uh, Nebra rather, is scoring a lot on points off the third goal. Willie goes to Bumawe. Three-pointer is a miss. Marcelo battling for the rebound. Somehow tapped it over to Mercado. Kagiwa has Tenorio beyond that three-point line. LA, let's settle down. They look to go to Johnson, Siegel fronting him, denying. Now Johnson comes out, eight to shoot. OJ against Danny, out to LA, two to shoot. Delorio down the lane, who led? Ni Pettigrew. Logadex looking to reclaim the lead. Sam Douglas barreling into Mercado. Is foul. Yung sinasabi natin, experience ni uh, Sam Douglas. He only has eight points, but he's trying really to manufacture points 
with this variety of ways also. Ito, nakakuha siya ng contact. At tinira niya na yun. Act of shooting yun. So, two free throws will be given to him. Experienciado, no? Sam Douglas started strong in this contest. Seven points very early on. Pero tatalawang free throw pa lang natatagdag niya ever since. Kasi pumapasa siya. He's making the nice uh, extra pass to his teammates. And he is definitely at the point of his career where in wala na siyang kailangan maipakita sa scoring eh. Ang kailangan niya ngayon yung playmaking ability, pati na rin yung leadership qualities. Kailangan talaga ma-manifest because of the absence of a Jason Castro. Johnson na naman, may tangan ng bola. Barangay Nebra down by one, for a share part reaching in. That'll be the 14 foul para sa Roma. Eric, anong balita? Hinebra has been very decisive with their moves, kaya naman nakahabol sila. Paalala lang ni Coach Frankie to keep their momentum going. Make sure you have your man in front of you. You cannot defend well kung nawawala ang binabantayan ninyo. Dinagdag pa ni Coach, know where your teammates are. Spacing will be crucial for ball movement and for gauging shots. So be wary of those details. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Erica. Long and next with another possession here. Looking to stretch this one-point lead. Douglas Metangan. Inahanap nila si Pettigrew sa poste. He's pushed out of his comfort zone by Marcelo. He still turns to the baseline and then reverses. What a move! That is why Coach Jung really likes him. Because if they need to generate points from the paint, this guy, even if he's just 6'5", can play back to the basket. Ilang best niya na tayong pinakitaan na kaya niya talaga po umiscore doon. Tatlong pong puntos na para dito kay Pettigrew. As Johnson cycles it all the way out, shot clock is winding down. Mercado's got to put one up. Mercado going between his legs. Marcelo keeps it on that side of the floor. We expected this double team. It's really up for the other guys to try to score because oh. there will always be one guy open at back-to-back -back possessions for Hinebra, both futile. Big stop. They took it away in traffic. Siegel inside. Puts it up off the glass for two. Mabagal man. Minsan wala nang elevation, but he still gets the job done. Dynamite Danny Siegel really scoring at will here for Talking Text. 89-84. Talking Text nakapagtayo na naman ng limang puntos na kalamangan. Coach Franklin, suit for time. Mapping out what he wants to happen in this, these next few sequences. For the march on, Coach Ryan Gregorio and Erika Padilla, kung aga pa yung pwersa ng inyong Sports 5. Johnson, 46 points in total. Gets it over to Mercado. Solomon down the lane. Niluwa lang ng ring. For two days, sir, there, the defensive talking text is just concentrated on Orlando Johnson. So it's really up for the other guys. Sinorio, Mercado, to really make their presence felt on the offensive end. Siegel on the attack. Marcelo trying to keep it step. Dynamite goes up. Alas gala. Marcelo to Tenorio. On the breakout. Kagiwa on the right. Mercado on the left. Kagiwa back to LA. Voila. And Harvey Caddy. Bounces it off the knee of Kagiwa. Orlando showing a little bit of frustration dahil in the last two possessions, hindi siya nakatirada, hindi siya ang tumira para sa kanyang kumpanan. 46 points na nga naman eh, baka lumamig pa siya. Larry grew to Larry, long three, rattle cell. Pagkakataon na naman makalapit ang Frangay Nebra. Denorio waiting for everybody to get into their positions. Will Johnson get a touch this time around? Johnson has Pettigrew all over him. L.A. down the middle. La Ipid. Sobra, sobra. Kanyang pasa. Dere, derecho. Kay manager Altua. Three straight possessions for Hinebra. Their import was not able to get a shot at the basket. And now they're still down by two possessions. Five-point lead. For Tom Texas enjoying. 30-second timeout requested here by Coach Jong Chico. Ang Lima nila has Douglas, Siegel, Terry, Ponacher, at ang import nila si Perigrew. Carry inside, forced to kick it back out into a turnover. Kagiwa puts his head down, stepping on the gas. Smart, the smart, but the dog is Ponacher. Sol Mercado likewise bothered, and Ponacher clears it para sa tropa. Good defense there for Talking Text, not allowing Ginebra to score on a fast break layup. Douglas 
Trying to control the pace of this game. Nice pass underneath. Pettigrew gets the basket. Make a son of a foul. We've been mentioning it time and again. Douglas not really looking for his points every single time. He's actually so happy being the playmaker. He saw a little opening there. Pettigrew against Marcelo. And he was not frustrated after that made basket. Yan pong ating Motolite Express Atid play of the game. Brought to you by Motolite Express Atid. For Express Atid service, call 370-6686. Mintis galang yung bonus free throw. It is still block and text by seven. Barangay Nebra will sue for time. Nagpapakita na tama na naman yung decision nila. 32 points para rito kay Pedigro, 11 rebounds. At ngayon, inaasahan pa siyang dumipensa against Orlando Johnson. Johnson fouled on the way in. That is what they needed. The clock to stop with a chance to score points. And Coach Frankie just made sure that the ball will end up in the hands of uh, Orlando Johnson. He did not wait for the double team to come. He just attacked at will and he was able to fish for a foul. And finally, nga, no, nakahawak ng bola. Ito si Johnson. Mintis ka lang ang kanyang unong free throw. Sayang na pagkakataon para rito sa import ng Ginebra. 46 puntos na. He had a 50-point explosion. In game one, yes, indeed, he is a super import. If there's one thing that he needs to work on, it's his free throw shooting accuracy. Logandex with a chance to pad the seven point lead. Douglas Metangan, pull it pass under the nice one dribble reverse. Pettigrew will shoot back the line for two shots. It's just that delay ball fake of Douglas, which is moving the defense from left to right. Nagfi freeze yung defense at nahahanap niya si Pedigro underneath the basket. Stefan making his way to that free throw line. As Coach Jong has given additional instructions to the rest of the tropa. Mintis din yung kanya. Medyo marami ring mintis itong si Pedigro. Pero importante kasi itong free throw na ito dahil itong punto sa kanilang kalamangan hindi nadagdagan. He's now only 7 out of 13. Just a little over 50% from the free throw line. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Another unforced error para sa Barangay Inebra. Tinasalo ni Orbiston din pa. Sayang na sayang yun dahil kinailangan talaga nila makapuslo dun sa pagkakataon ngayon. Let's see if Target Next can capitalize this time around. Douglas to a carry pick. Zigzagging his way into the lane. Douglas putting on a variety of moves. What a looper of a jumper to let us down. He will only score when it is necessary. He did not have a good passing angle there. He just opted to take that basket. It hit nothing but the bottom of the net. Johnson Metangan. It's a three possession deficit staring in the face. Johnson, holy pani pairing. Nang inboard netong talk and deck. Stefan Pettigrew timing that one perfectly. Also, the double team and the switching of talk and text. They just did it on the right time when the other four locals are not really so confident taking those shots. And it si Johnson who was just forced to elude the defense and try to score. But unfortunately, Betty Grew was there to save the day. Happy birthday nga pala po sa ating PLDT Vice President and Head of Home Marketing, Mr. Gary Duali. 94-84, talk and text up by 10. Barangay Nebra hoping against Doak. Johnson has been stuck at 46 points. He gives it up. Papunta kay Mercado. The Soul Train attacking the gut of the defense. Would have been huge if he got it to drop, but two free throws are coming up. With this kind of a five from Ginebra, it will be a lot of space for Sol Mercado to penetrate. He's been doing it time and again. Sometimes he's effective, but this time he was able to get a foul. Mercado rattles on the first. Pero alam mo, itong spice na bibigay ng mga Asian imports natin, ano, napakalaking bagay, lalong-lalo na dito sa mga fans natin sa PBA dahil nabibigyan sila ng ibang perspective from uh, Asian imports. Sam Douglas, ang sinasabi nga, yang stick ng mga Asian imports. Ball will go to Hinebra, pero may pwedeng review niya. Pero si Douglas nga, pinakita, hindi lang it's not about the scoring. It's about his presence on the floor, the basketball I do, and everything else he brings. His experience really is giving so much leadership dito sa Talking Text. Para bang uh, habang wala si Jason Castro at si Renadel, the uh, known leaders of this team, 
and his willing to take those cudgels and is doing it not just on offense but also with his playmaking abilities. Barangay Nebra down by 8, 65 seconds to go. Mercado, long two. No, Seagull with yet another board. And now, you gotta start thinking quotient at this juncture of the game. Even if it's just a three possession lead para sa tropa, you want to still win by as much as possible as you can. Masakit yan, marami tayong... <laughs> Natanggal si Coach Archie. Nakalimutan <laughs> tayo dahil kulang ng isang puntos. Minsan nga, wala pang isang puntos eh. Oo. Oh. Kaya early on, kailangan tutukan na yan. A stock and text turns it over once again. First things first, you gotta make sure you preserve the victory. And then pangalawa na, yung maging malaki pa ang iyong lamang. Urbistondo launches a long one. Josh Urbistondo lights it up. Now, it's only a two-possession lead here for uh, Token Tex. Another timeout called there by Sam Douglas. So we still have 41.9 seconds remaining. Nebra is capable of coming back. All they need to do right now is make this defensive stop. Douglas against Mercado. Oh, Nabitawan is Sam. Barangay Nebra has a window open for them. Mercado pushes it up. Orbistondo goes across. Kagiwa will pull up. 18 for her. Voila. Orbistondo underneath is bound. Now, Orbistondo is acting like the glue that will bond this team together. He's playing with so much fire and energy. And his persona alone is giving a lot of spark in this rally aspiration of the Gene Kings. He will be tested right now at this free throw line after getting clipped by Carey. Pasok yung una para kay Josh. He can make this a three-point game if he makes the second one. And back-to-back -back turnovers for some Douglas, leaving a little window open here for Barangay Hinebra. Orbistondo goes two for two. Hinebra hoping for a steal. If not, give up a foul. Sam Douglas will burn their final timeout. And Sam Douglas, a total of seven turnovers already. He really has to take better care of this letter. Expect, expect Hinebra to uh, double team here, Douglas. At ito na nga, Douglas is in trouble. Goes to Siegel, he never has to foul. Almost a turnover once again. Looked like a traveling actually. Yes, he might have gotten away with the walk. Just tremendous energy and display of enthusiasm here for the Jim Kings. As we take a look at Sol Mercado, really not giving space here for Sam Douglas. Let's take a look if he walked. Yes, I think he, he did. He lifted that left foot. Yung kaliwa yung pivot niya, you know? But right now, it's really up to Larry Fonashier to give Talking Tex a two-possession lead. Oh! Usually, a cool customer from the 15-foot line, but he missed the first one. That leaves, again, an opening for Enebra. They still have one timeout left here in this ballgame. Fonashier takes care of the second. That's a four-point lead para dito sa tropang Texters. Here we go, live action, 11 seconds to go. Johnson in trouble. Brondial to Agiwa. Couldn't get the bounce. Rebound, Johnson, put back. Wala pa rin. Marcelo puts it up. Oh. The talking text escaping with a very close victory here. And nothing to be ashamed. This Inebra team is really a different team. They just don't give up. They might have lost in terms of number of score here in the scoreboard, but definitely with their kind of spirit, they will win a lot of games here in this conference. Lady Luck not smiling on Barangay Hinebra in this endgame. May kahalo na talagang malas pag gaganong toto ka na. Pumapasok na, lumalabas pe. 95-91, Talk and Text will open their campaign in this PLDD Home Devolution PBA Governor's Cup with a huge victory and will drop Barangay Hinebra to 0-2 for the tournament.